Eric the Robot is an incredible story. He was built in 1928 and he was the first British robot and he was certainly amongst a handful of the very first built anywhere in the world. But then suddenly, after a few years, Eric disappeared and we didn't quite know what happened to him. Our dream was to bring Eric back to life. In the summer of 2016, we launched a crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter to do just that. Artist and robot builder Giles Walker agreed to build the new Eric, and we had incredible support from people around the world who shared our dream. Built over five months, Eric is a two metre tall steel and aluminium giant. Giles' first job was to build Eric's steel skeleton and attach his arms. The new Eric has elbows which help him to move much more freely. Colourful wires were threaded through the frame, connecting Eric's motors with electronics that control him. Eric's movements are pre-programmed using software once used for theatre lighting. His insides and this digital system are a million miles from the pulleys and the gears which controlled the original Eric. Next, sparks flew as Eric's aluminium skin was cut, shaped and attached to his frame. Recreating Eric has been a piece of detective work. Using a handful of newspaper cuttings, a short film of Eric and the archive of Eric's original creators, we've pieced together how he looked and moved to bring Eric back to life. The final touch was to add the letters R-U-R to Eric's chest, just like the original. Once Eric's skin was added and he began to move, Eric finally came to life and was the man of steel we'd always dreamed of. So, here's Eric, finished at last, this amazing metallic figure, like some great knight charging out of the 15th century at us. He's a wonderful figure, and his shininess I love as a curator, because it reminds me that when you think about robots, and you know, he's in the, the most recent in a long line of robots, going back five or 600 years, is that robots remind us about who we are, because they're basically mirrors for us. When you build a robot, it's a proposition to make you think about who you are, and the society you live in, and where you want to go next.